Fiber optic provides high speed, low latency, and reliable network links. It's quite suitable for long distance network connection. The fiber optic link has great advantage compared to the copper cable. However, one of the downsides of fiber optic cable is we need to deal with the connector in the field, which is completely different from the RJ45 connector. The fiber optic cable requires clean and precise connectivity, as it's simply just the light transmitting through the cable. Any division, even simply just the dust stand in front of the connector is going to deform the signal. In this video, I'm going to show how to set up the fiber optic link with any spectral tool and skill. First, let's see what we have. This is the PoE switch. There's four PoE ports which can supply both power and data to four PoE IP cameras. And we got one uplink. And this is the fiber optic slot, but it's empty. So it still cannot work with the fiber optic cable because we still need to install the fiber optic module. The fiber optic module will convert the signal between the electricity and optical. And it's being set separately because we may, we may need different fiber optic module for our project. Like this two, it can transmit 20 km distance. They also have other fiber optic module which can achieve 80 km. And we also decide what kind of fiber optic cable we can use. Like this tool, it will use the single mode fiber optic cable. And here we the thing is just only one port for fiber optic cable, which means we it's only require one cable. As we know, usually the communication need to need two cable sending and receiving the signal. But for this bi-direction fiber optic module, it's using different wavelengths to transmit and receive the signal. So we just need one cable. And remember what I said, we, I, I don't want to have, have any special tool and skill. So here I picked the pre-terminal fiber optic cable. The terminal has been made in the factory and 100% test. So when we got the cable, we just need to wire and plug and plate. It saves a lot of time. Right now, let's make the quick connection. First, I think we need to install the fiber optic module to the switch. And on the other side, this is the switch supposed to sit in the control room. Also install the fiber optic module. Now we are going to Pass the cable through this waterproof cap. Yes, bubble ring. You got to pass one by one. There's tape indicate which cable we are going to use A and B. All right, now we have passed the cable through. I'm going to pick the A. And take off the cat. And connect to the fiber optic module. Once we're done, I'm going to put back the rubber ring. Also, there's a small plug for waterproof. Alright, now we fasten the cat. Okay, we have complete one end. Now we go to the other end. It's quite easy because it's supposed to sit in the control room. We just pick the eight. Then we connect to the fiber optic module. Now that's it. We can see the data link is on. Now actually the fiber optic link is ready. What I'm going to do is 
the next step is just connect their camera to one of the port. I have passed through the cat to, to save the time. So we pick one of the PLE port. And once we connect, connect to the it, it's going to take a while for the camera to reboot because now the camera is getting the power and data from this out of your switch you can see the camera's life it's going to take a while for the camera to get the best focus because this is motorized zone camera now the set, setup is complete camera's live Still getting the focus. All right, it's almost there. Oh, good. Now it's live. That's all. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Any question about this PoE switch outdoor, please leave a comment below.